Marquez has been kidnapped, tortured, beaten, buried alive, electrocuted, and she even had her baby kidnapped by an orangutan. What more could possibly happen? Take a look. Mommy loves you so much. With all of her heart and soul, she always will. Please welcome back from Passion, Mackenzie Westmore. Jackson moment here. Um, here, I'm going to go. So this is a down, down dog. dog. You're doing a down dog. Down dog. And then you come into plank. You go into plank. And you slowly go into chaturanga. Chaturanga. Slowly and up upward dog. dog. Up dog. And quickly back into. So down it's dog. a lot of flow. Wow. It's a lot of flow. So exactly. he does a lot of the flow. So it's exactly. constantly yeah. kind of. See, I don't really do yoga. I don't do yoga, but I know Lisa's awesome at it. I love it. I have to introduce it to me. I would love to go. So you leave me in. Absolutely. His info. Yeah, okay. he's good. He's amazing. Go. Yeah. Well, I mean, to lose 20 pounds is quite dramatic. Yeah. Now, did you do stuff with your diet as well? or was I it... did. You I, did. I, I went to a uh, nutritionist and dealt with a nutritionist because after I had, uh, I'm sure everybody knows by now, that I had gotten pregnant, unfortunately lost the baby at about three or four months. So Psychologically, it's going to be a time. stressful time. Though, it, yeah. At the time, it was extremely difficult. <laughs> but, you know, gaining that weight, so I had that to lose, and then just for some reason happened to lose an extra Ten on top of that. Okay. So, and it was all through the yoga. That was the biggest thing. That uh, I just look, changed differently. You look great. Yeah, you look Thank really you. good. Yeah. So let's talk about Sheridan a little bit. It's been a busy, busy time for Sheridan over there. Oh yeah. We were just talking about all the things that have happened to you. You were trapped in a pit for like eight months, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then what else? Would you've been? You're... I was trapped in a pit for eight months. So then I went to the psych ward for four months. Now, did you do research on the psych ward or anything? Or? I did actually. I uh, my mother was a uh, psych major. And she had toured some of the uh, psych wards, and she actually, with a couple of her girlfriends, they were at like the end of the line, and they got tapped on the back, and they said, "You really want to see what goes on here?" She was like, "Yeah, okay." And one of the people that worked there took she and two of her girlfriends like down into the basement and oh. saw what really happens in the psych wards of that time, which right. was probably about the 60s, and saw how horribly so many people were treated and the shock treatments and they were just left in these padded rooms it's awful. It was I know. horrible I, I so, read about it uh, yeah. yeah I really got to research it talking to her I researched it by watching uh, one flew over the cuckoo's nest yeah, yeah. girl interrupted uh, that was all the psych ward stuff right. then when I had to do shock treatment I watched beautiful mind and uh, uh, just really kind of watched what he did and how did he take it and right. uh, from what I understand it was so disturbing for people on set there were a couple of people that had to leave 
Because, watching you do it. Watching me do it. Wow. Because, really? so, it was intense. I've I've seen seen from to it. throw it yourself into it, it like that. I loved it. The psych ward stuff, I loved it. That's you do all time. kinds of crazy stunts over there, and you do all your own stunts at times? I do, yes. Really? I do all my own stunts. Uh, well, what's this about the rats being poured over your head? There's no way you did that one. Yes, I did. No way. I really? actually had a three-pound African rat that they had my stunt double. She was dressed in that horrible blue outfit that I'd been in for eight months. <laughs> the blood all over it. Uh, they had her dressed up with blonde wig, and they said, well, she'll be stepping in for when that three-pound African rat's going to walk in. I was like, no, she's not. They're like, what do you mean? I was like, I'm going to do it myself. I, I, I love rats. I, I actually had a rat. I had <laughs> nothing like a hot woman saying, I love rats. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had two pet rats when I was a child. You did? Yes. So for me, it was you nothing. Them. Yeah. Wow. It was nothing. I used to walk my little rat on his purple leash and collar. And it was no big deal. You walk him on his, you took him outside and walked him? No, I just walked him in the house, and he and the cat ironically got along. So. Is there any stunt that you wouldn't do? There was one stunt that I'm, I'm always game for everything. I've been hoist up to the top of the, the, the set. I've fallen. I've been thrown through windows. I've, you know, had the rats. I actually had to put my face up to a hole and have rats come out at my face. I, oh, I mean, I'm like yeah. ready for fear factor now. But there was one where they told me, okay, we are going to tie you up in chains. We're going to tie your feet up, tie your hands, gag bound, everything and put weights on you and drop you in the ocean. No. And they had this huge water tank that they brought into the set. And I said, you're going to do what? Yeah. Like, I said, not. Okay, I don't go. think I can do this. I think here we have a, a picture. And of you yeah. did it? Yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. Now let me ask this to. question. Okay, they, no, we have to take I know, but before I do, take a break. Take a break. You and Allie <laughs> Sweeney get into a fight. I Who wins? Who's yeah, tougher on NBC? Because Alex Sweeney Ooh. did the Fear Factor thing. All right, we'll think about that. When we come yeah. back, we'll have the end. Don't go away. We're going to do more. Coming up next, McKinsey reveals why she believes in love at first sight.